Hey everyone, this is Brian Drury of Overcoming Graduation and today I want to share a quick video on where big dreams begin. And if you've ever heard of a little company called Pixar, uh, you may have an idea that they're pretty big. You know, it's a fairly uh, decent sized animation studio. And you might be thinking that in order for Pixar to get where it was today, it had to start with this massive plan. Many times when we think about starting something, and let's use a business for an example, we think it's gotta be this well thought out, well documented thing. You've got your business plan, your financials, your projections, and all these things. You've got all your ideas and your stories laid out. You've got multiple movies in depth, and you've got your scripts written, and then you can get started. And this applies to any journey we have in life. Think about fitness. We go, I'm gonna get the diet plans, the workout routines. I'm gonna have it all mapped out for the next six months. I need to get all the equipment. Then I can get started. So often we're putting all of this stuff between us and even taking the first step on actually doing the thing. Let's say it's writing a book. You're like, well, let me find the publisher, the editor. Let me learn all the things about writing. Let me take all the classes. Then I'll get started. And so often what ends up happening is we don't take any steps towards the dream or goal. We do all these things around it where we're doing a lot of motion, but we're not really taking action towards what matters. So you might be curious, well, what does this have to do with Pixar? Pixar, one of my favorite things is watching behind the scenes on Pixar movies because they are incredible how they make them, but also the stories of adversity and overcoming that Pixar went through are unbelievable. You might be thinking, well, to come up with these incredible movies like Finding Nemo and Toy Story and A Bug's Life and all these things, they had to have all these things laid out and it was this really complex plan. But so many things start from humble beginnings. So many things start from the smallest idea, the littlest thing. And one of my favorite stories from them is Andrew Stanton and another person who became one of Pixar's core writers as well were sitting at a diner. Now, Andrew Stanton is one of the core writers behind most of Pixar's initial big successes. This is a guy who was a part of creating some of the most incredible animated movies that we have. And he and this other writer were sitting at a diner and they got an idea. And they took out a napkin and they drew out a couple characters. They just drew out these little goofy characters. And uh, to anyone at that time, they would have just seemed like silly little drawings, but we would recognize them as Nemo, Wally, uh, Flick from A Bug's Life, and all these different characters. They mapped out, I think like six or seven, the first six or seven incredible movies that came through Pixar, all on a napkin, just by drawing characters. It wasn't this business plan, it wasn't this outline, it wasn't this totally feasible business idea, it was belief in their heart, creativity, trusting their intuition, and wanting to tell stories that matter. One of Andrew Stanton's things is one of the greatest promises of a storyteller is that you will make them care. It's make me care as the audience member, and that's one of the biggest things that we have to do as creators. So by telling this story, they made me realize that so much of my fear and uncertainty is something that we all experience, something we all feel, but I don't need to have all the answers in order to get started. And just like them, it could be a napkin and just scribbling things out and drawing a couple drawings that could be the start of the most incredible journey of my life and the same is true for you. So where do you need to have a napkin moment in your life? Where do you need to just draw it out and get started? Put the idea out there, start talking to people about it because you'd be amazed once you get started where the momentum, the energy and the connections come. Doesn't mean you're not gonna have adversity and things to overcome to get there, but Getting started is often so much closer than we realize. So today, I'd encourage you to take that step. I'd invite you to take that step if you're willing and map something out on a piece of paper. Whatever that thing is that you've had the idea for for a long time, because for all you know, it could be the next Pixar. I love you all. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being a part of this today. If this was a value to you, please comment, subscribe, like, share, do all the other social media things. And if there's someone that you know that needs to hear this message right now, please share this directly to them and give them the link. And if you'd like help getting started on your big goal or dream and being more consistent, more accountable, more productive, and connecting with a like-minded group of people and doing this every single day, I'd love for you to check out Most Productive Hour. This is an accountability group that I created and there's a link in the description below to help people actually take the steps they need to daily to achieve their big, wild, beautiful dreams. So I'd love to see you on the inside if that sounds like something that fits for you. Link is in the bio and the link is overcominggraduation.com slash MPH and I hope to see you in there. I love you all. Thanks for being a part of this. That's all for today. I'll be talking to you again real soon.